then you have to sing happy anniversary to me oh, because yeah. yesterday was our 20th wedding anniversary. And since many of you were at our wedding, it's fun to celebrate. <laughs> happy anniversary to me and Tony. Happy anniversary to you and Tony. Happy anniversary to Sue and Tony. Happy anniversary to you. I've got love. Faces, I think that this next verse is going to be right what you're feeling. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy. think of that as a little toy, you know, it just looks like the kind of thing my grandkids would walk around with and try to strum, so. Oh my goodness. What a wonderful way to begin, and again, ladies, welcome to Women Offering Worship. This is our 26th year, and we are just thrilled to have you here. I, I forgot, so somebody please remind me next time to bring the sticky name tags, because I do, uh, I just want to make sure that we all feel like we know each other's names. And I know it seems silly because a lot of us have seen each other for years, but if you get older, sometimes you forget things. And so I would like us to wear name tags, including me. And so um, just someone remind me to do that next, next time. Um, we're going to be, Sue's going to be talking about Psalm 133 this morning. And so I'm going to invite you to stand and join in our call to worship that's printed there strangely enough, but it's printed on there. Um, I'll start and you guys would um, come in with the bold, please, okay? One body, one spirit, one hope. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God of all, who is above all and through all and in all. Take this patchwork collection of women and quilt together your church. Like old pieces like old pieces of cloth. Take these words and songs and prayers. Take our thoughts and inner hungers and join them all together into a new and living fabric. The purpose of which is to cover and color your world, or at least our corner of it, with grace and love. Um, Mary and I brought some quilts today just because as I was looking at this call to worship and thinking about being this patchwork collection of women who are quilting this church together, quilting our faith together. Um, if you think about what goes, the work that goes into a quilt and what it looks like and the beauty of it, it just all seemed to make sense to have a few quilts here and you're welcome to look at those uh, this morning. 
Uh, let's go ahead. Sue's at the piano, so five, five, seven, please. We're going to do stanzas one, two, and three. Let's go into a time of prayer, and would you please, uh, let's join together in the prayer that's written there. Merciful God, we boldly pray to you, confident that you will not reject us. In spite of our human failings, your love continues to draw us together. Be with us today as we rejoice in the power of your love. Sing with us today as we proclaim the good news of your grace. Dance with us today as we celebrate the unity we share in Christ. How good it is to be together. Alleluia. Amen. And I just want to um, welcome Susan. I sometimes forget, you know, that we are bigger than this room. And so, Susan, thank you for being present with us this morning. Thank you. Uh, how can we pray for one another this week? Just lift up some verbal prayer requests for us. Prayers for Jeannie Wagner. Prayers for Jeannie Wagner. She's in a rehab facility in the Chicago area. And what did we hear this week? That she, did she, she, has, speak, yeah, she spoke a sentence. She spoke a sentence for the first time. So, slow but steady. And we just continue to pray for her. Well, we know her. Do yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we know her family, so they're going to be praying. Jane. Um, prayers for me. I'll have to go back on chemo, which is a disappointment to me. But it will be a different drug than I was on in January and February, so hopefully I'll tolerate it better. Okay, and this is oral chemo, if yes, I oral understand chemo. correct. Mm -hmm. okay. Correctly. Mm. Prayers for that. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What about prayers? My daughter and her son's birthday today oh my one is overseas and the other is in washington bases in washington at georgetown so oh my goodness and then prayers for dick he's having a ct scan at two o'clock so i'll pray that they find the cancer okay it's a huge problem okay. i think a celebration um you guys need to be up with the with what's going on on wednesday nights <laughs> it's a huge success um our fff <laughs> and um, I just want to go. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> but uh, it's a huge success. There's lots of kids. Uh, Jenny sent out a an email that said some members, so many members are talking about, or Neil sent it out. Members are talk, people that are coming are talking about joining the church, um, which is not really the goal. The goal is to touch hearts. But I think that that's a result of touching hearts. Um, there's just a lot of classes, a lot of people in the classes. Um, there's a joy. There's a real joy that's, I think, starting to spread in lots of different places. And so pay attention. 
FFF means faith, food, and friendship. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's a good thing that Mary explained that. I still call it Wednesday Night Live. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. It's hard for me to make these changes, you know. United Methodist Women to United Women of Faith. Yeah. I'm still working on that one, and that's been a year now, I think. So I'm just really slow. <laughs> Any other prayers? Anything else we can pray for? Anyone else we can pray for? This for Mary. I'm really glad yeah. that Mary's still yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm good. I'm not broken. <laughs> so then for um, my son Trevor, had shoulder surgery on Tuesday, so he's got a really, really long road to recovery. What happened? Uh, he wiped out on his bike during the Ironman competition in Madison two weeks ago. Oh. Ouch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is Dave healing? Uh, Dave's healing. The pins came out of his toes on Tuesday, okay. um, and he's he's in a boot. And so, yeah. Barbara, did you pray for you? Pardon? Nancy's having surgery next week. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday? No. Two weeks. Okay. Two. Uh, August. Oh. August. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do your exercises. Okay. Yeah. Do you really have exercises? Yeah. And did you say it's mm -hmm. your hip surgery? Yeah. I, have, I have torn tendons and have to be recast the bone. So it's, it's not a big part of it if I had a okay. eight weeks. Okay. Okay. Well, we know where to find Nancy. She can't run away from us. You can try to go visit us. You can zoom and bring food. Yeah, we'll see you up on the ferry. <laughs> you can turn your camera off. That's true. But we would rather see your face, no matter how you look. That's how we would do it. Any other prayers before we close together in the Lord's prayer? Okay. Let's do that, please. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Okay. So now, didn't you tell me last week that this week was Peace Day? Today's yes, peace day? it is. I it's even have it up there. International mm -hmm. Day international, of Peace. Oh, yes. International mm -hmm. Day of Peace. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Which prompted me to go to Psalm 133. Mm. Um, so let me read it first, because we're going to read it again. But um, I'm going to read it here first. If I can find it. It's in this one. How very good and pleasant it is when kindred live together in unity. It's like the precious oil on the head running down upon the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down over the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord ordained his blessing, life forevermore short and sweet and kind of have filled with codes. Yeah. If you don't know what the codes are. We don't. We don't. We're going to talk about the codes. <laughs> We're going to talk about the, co the codes. But it starts out how very good and pleasant it is when kindred live together in unity. Do you remember last week we talked to Psalm 1? And I talked to you about how it's a, a Torah psalm. And a Torah psalm is one that really celebrates God's law of creation and of love. When God made the world, everything is in balance, right? It all works together perfectly. You can think about the peaceable, peaceable kingdom, that thought. They're just, the lion will lie down with the lamb, you know. Nobody's out for greed. Life just runs exactly the way God's law set it up to run. Things die, things get eaten, things grow, there's life, there's rain, there's drought, there's sunshine, there's storm, there's snow. It's all, God's got it all figured out until, of course, we screw it up. I keep saying that, you know, because we have a tendency to do that. So 
that peace that is naturally inherent in the world is God's peace. And it comes all the way down into, our, into us. When we're talking about this, this uh, these codes in this psalm, the first one's pretty easy. How very good and pleasant it is when kindred, brothers and sisters, family, anyone, and let's take the whole world as the family, live together in unity. Now, it doesn't say live together without war, live together without conflict. Just keep that in your brain for a second. It's like the precious oil on the head running down upon the beard on the beard of Aaron. What do you know about Aaron? Moses' his bro. Moses' bro. Anybody know anything else? He was the first priest. God told him, God told Moses when he was up on the mountain getting the ten, that actually before the ten, getting the, um, ten. Get the ten. You knew what I was talking about. See, you got that code. <laughs> Um, to anoint Aaron and his sons as the priests. They were from the tribe of Levi. Levi. Very good. The Levites are, have always been the priests. So um, Aaron was anointed um, with the oil for that. Now what do you know about anointing? Where, where else in the Bible have you heard about something or someone getting anointed? Like sheep? Sheep? Well, they use oil to keep the goats. Oh, I kind of a, maybe. Well, that's I hadn't thought about that. So I'll give you a hint. This one was talking about the head. The other one is talking about the other end of the body. Oh, sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the oil. Oh, precious oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the Jesus little words. Nobody's going to see We got we got two stories going on. Nell is talking about the washing of the feet. And Beth is talking about the woman who came and anointed Jesus' feet before the crucifixion. So yeah, so there's other anointings. So what you know about those anointings, what does that anointing mean or do? Blessing. Blessing. A blessing. So when we live together in unity, it's like the precious oil on the head, down the beard, down his robe of Aaron. Where does that oil start from? It starts from the head and it comes down. Just like the unity from God, the peace from God comes down and covers the entire body. <clears throat> Just fill all of that. That's how very good and pleasant it is that it comes all the way down. Mount Hermon apparently is in the northeast corner of Israel which I realize I'm doing the northwest here, but I'm standing north, so look at it that way. Anyway, I'll do it the right, whatever. It's in the northeast. It's the tallest mountain. It's like 9,000 feet. In the middle of the desert, every morning, there is dew at the top of the mountain. And there's enough dew that it rolls down, and it comes down to Jerusalem, to Mount Zion, to that area, and gives them the water that they need for life. Oh, that makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Now I get it. God ordained that. God set that up. That's part of God's creation. That the dew starts there and comes down to fill. I, I get kind of goosebumps about that. that. That little detail. God thinks about <laughs> those little details in all of that. It falls down on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord ordained his blessing and life evermore. Peace. Peace. What's it, what is it like for peace? Peace does not mean absence. It means more than absence of conflict. That's a Fred Rogers statement that you'll see on Sunday morning. Um, it just happens to all tie in here for us. Peace is more than the absence of conflict. Think about that for a minute. You can have conflict with someone and still have peace with the relationship and peace in your heart and in your person. I can go to Nell and say to her, you know, 
I don't agree with what you were talking about and I, I think you're wrong and I don't like the way you treated Linda Liebeck. <laughs> and, and we can have this, you know, I'm, I'm kind of irritated with you, but I can still have peace with us, right? Mm -hmm. I don't wish ill for her. I don't want her to fail. I just, ha it's more than conflict. We have a conflict, but we still have peace. And I think we need to remember about how it is to be peaceful people um, when things change. When we can't remember, United Methodist women <laughs> change to, and I can't remember. <laughs> and we have those changes. Our world is changing. And our church is changing. Church Universal, Church in Whitefish Bay is changing. Our inner peace is really important to hold on to. To say it's not about me, it's about us. When kindred live together in unity, it's not about my needs, it's about our needs. That's what I like about that psalm. Um, it's been set to some really cool music, and uh, so it's always been a favorite of mine. Today, we're going to have some time for anointing so that the oil can fill us with God's peace and have that symbolic. We're going to start by singing um, a chorus that's printed on the back of your bulletin. It comes to us from our Tizay community. So after we read the psalm, I'm going to ask you to, to, take a, to keep your finger in the hymn, the closing hymn, Let There Be Peace on Earth, which is actually in the hymnal. We just don't know what number it is. Jane will look it up real quick and let us know. So that after we read the psalm, we're going to go right, um, and we sing, after we read the psalm, you're going to be invited to come forward. Now we'll anoint you while we sing this chorus, which can be done in a round. So please feel free to make the harmonies happen by singing not at the same time. And then at the end of that, I'll close that out, and we'll go right into Let There Be Peace on Earth without a break. I'm sorry? 431. 431. Loretto Beach, Jane, sorry. <laughs> so let's read together at the back of the hymn. After you get yourself marked, let me know that you're marked by standing. And then we will go through scripture. Now we'll lead us in the scripture of Psalm 133 in the back. It's okay, take your time. Everybody, has everyone found it in the back? It's actually page 850, if I'm looking at the right thing. 850? I thought you said 431. That's the, that's that's the, the song. We're going to go into the song after we do this reading. Um, so what you should find, what you should be looking at, is what's called the Psalter. It's 850. There'll be some music, which I think we're not going to sing, if I understood Sue correctly this morning. Yeah, we're going to do a different song. Right. But we are going to do the song itself, which is right below it. Okay? So um, I'll lead the first verse, and Actually, then you'll see. We'll, we'll sing the song first. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Find us together, Lord. Find us together with chords and No, just listen. Find us together with chords that cannot be broken. Find us together with love. This is it all there. Behold how good and pleasant it is when we live together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, 
running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, bind us together with sing if you want to. You are invited to come forward for just a little um, oil anointing if you desire to do that. I'll put it on your hand. And if you don't desire to do that, you don't need to come up.
Mm. Uh, let's close with our benediction. It's printed in the bulletin. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.